Hello viewers, in this video I will draw the SFD and BMD diagram for the frame for UDL acting 5 keep UDL acting and the 50 keep concentric load acting from the side and taking B and C as a fixed points. If the B and C are the pins, then what we will do, then we will solve these segments, these three segments of the frame as a simple beam and draw their shear force and bending moment diagram as a simple simply supported beam and the mo no any moment will be transferred from B to B and no any moment will be transferred from C to C if there are pins at B and C and then we drawing the simple SFT and BMD diagram we will uh, join then here the B and C are the fixed points so the moments will be transferred from B to B and C to C this will explain you how I am now in this video and here I will find out the reactions by taking the moment about point D and taking the counterclockwise moment as a positive and here the VA into 20 create the clockwise moment VA into 20 is the moment arm about point D this create this V A create the clockwise moment and 5 is the UDL multiplied by span and multiplied by half of the span we will get the moment due to UDL this create the counterclockwise moment about point D so taken as positive and 15 to 5 this also create the counterclockwise moment about point D so 50 is the force and 5 is the moment arm about point D so sum of all these three moments this is due to reaction this is due to UDL force and this is due to point concentric load and sum of these three moments equal to 0 we will get VA is equal to 62.5 here the V is acting and now I will get the VD the sum of all vertical forces equal to 0 the upward force is taken as positive and downward negative and 62.5 acting upward 5 into 20 acting downward and here I will not take the moment arm because in this case I have taken the moment value so apply the moment arm with the force here I will only take the force values VD is acting upward so in this equation I, will, I can find out VD is equal to 37.5 this is how we can find out the reactions you can watch my another video how you can find out the reaction i have explained in that video in detail and now by taking the sum of all horizontal forces is equal to zero i will get here the horizontal reaction is 50 k only at pin at here the pin is acting the 50 horizontal reaction will act at roller there no horizontal reaction act at roller this is my the frame with the reactions are solved and now i will draw these i will separate them these members for drawing the sfd and bmds and what i will do first of all here the no moments will be transferred from b to b because here is the roller no horizontal reaction no moment acting over here as a reaction so there will be no moment as a result at B and there will be no moment and horizontal reaction at point B but here at D the horizontal reaction is acting so to counter this horizontal reaction the moment will act over here and this moment will be transferred to C this moment this moment will be transferred from C to C find out this moment we can find out this moment yes the how these forces came this 60 was the reaction which is acting down upward this here will act downward and this here will act act upward take them as they are and here the 37 was acting upward here I will take take it as a upward and here it will act downward and here it will act up, up, upward this is how we can separate these the members of the frame and the moment here the moment is acting clockwise to counter this 50 kip and here that moment this moment will act as a counterclockwise this is clockwise 
and this is counterclockwise transferred as the 37.5 is transferred by same method the moment will also be transferred now how we will find out this moment we can find out this moment by this member by taking the moment about point d and taking the clockwise moment as a negative and counterclockwise moment as positive m create the clockwise moment about point d this create the clockwise moment about point d taken as negative and 50 create the counterclockwise moment 50 into 5 is the moment value 50 is the force 5 is the moment arm force into moment arm is the moment plus because it create the counterclockwise moment about point d only these two mem these two terms will create the moment this will create no moment 37 will create no moment because it is passing through d this 50 and 37 are also passing from d so thus we can find out m is equal to 0 summation of these two moments is equal to 0 and m is equal to 37 m is equal to 250 this is the m is equal to 250 this is how this m is equal to 250 and 250 this m we can also find out from here by taking moment at any point at b or c we can find out this this will be as a 250 you can check it by yourself and now I will take this members for drawing the SFD and BMD diagram. I will take the shear forces at point A. The V1 is the shear force at point A. It will be equal to reaction. Start the drawing SFD and BMD always from the left side. It is easy to draw. When these type of conventions you are using as I am explaining, explaining you in this video. The V1 is this shear force will always equal to the reaction over here, positive. And the V3, this is the V3. How this V3 is came? V1 is the previous moment, previous shear force minus the loading area. 62.5 is the previous shearing force over here, minus the loading, loading area. How the loading area is? 5 into 20 this 5 and 20 is the loading area this UDL subtract it from this 62.5 because it is the load is acting downward so that is why we will subtract this load value from the previous shear force we will get the shear force at over here this is the shear force we will from 1 from B to C we will move direct from B to C because here no load is changing only one UDL is acting so there will be only one type of UDL like this from B to C and here V2 will be 0 at some point we can I can find out this point by slope method this is 62 and minus minus 37.5 divided by 20 is the whole span this is the slope of this line is equal to 62.5 divided by x this is how we will find out x 12.5 from b point where the shear force is equal to 0 and this is 7.5 remaining distance and now I will draw the BMD diagram the bending moment m1 is equal to 0 over here because in this case I have as I have said you earlier that the no moment is transferred between B points so the moment is 0 at here at point B m1 is equal to 0 and m2 will be equal to m1 previous moment plus SFD area this a1 is the SFD area this one this is this one is the SFD area which is equal to 62.5 into 12.5 divided by 2 this is 390 is the moment value at this point at x is equal to 12.5 at that point this is the moment value and now the m3 m3 is equal to m2 is the previous moment plus SFD area m2 minus this because this is downward so 37.5 into 7.5 divided by 2 this will be shear force area 
subtract this value from the previous moment i will get the moment at that point here the moment will not be equal to 0 but it will be equal to 250 because this 250 is moment is transferred from this c point to another member here you can see this 250 moment will be transferred from here to this member so that is why here the moment will not be equal to 0 but it will be equal to 250 it will automatically come when you calculate as it is here this is how the SFD and BMD drawn for this UDL and now I will draw the SFD and BMD for this member by the same method this is the member for my simplification I will rotate it and take it as a horizontal as you can see it now this is horizontal member C member came here and D member came here and the forces are also rotated as they were the 37 37 was along the member and now here are they are along the member and the 50 and this 50 are perpendicular to the member and here the same they are acting perpendicular to the member and this is the clockwise as it is it was here so rotate it for your simplification and draw the SFD diagram by simple method v1 is equal to vc the reaction here no reaction is acting so here you can see it from here at c there is no reaction so at the c the shear force will be equal to reaction which is zero and here the shear force at that point will be equal to the point load acting downward and here as here from c to this point no load was acting so the shear force at c was zero and here is also here for zero in this region but here in this region also no load is acting so the shear force will be constant this is and this is my SFD diagram for this shear and now I will draw the BMD shear BMD at M1 here it is clockwise moment is acting at point C taken it as a positive as you are drawing the SFD from left to right take the clockwise moment as a positive this is I have taken over here this is external moment is acting so take it as a here and M2 is equal to M1 plus SFD area here there is no SFD area so M2 will be equal to 250 which, which is M1 plus 0 this is my M2 which is also equal to 250 and this is my M3 which is equal to M2 previous moment plus SFD area this is my SFD area 250 is the previous moment minus 50 into 5 this is my SFD area thus I will get M2 is equal to 0 because at point D there was a pin so that is why at point D the moment is 0 this is my SFD and this is my BMD diagram for this I have just rotated them as they are and this was my members that I have separated here no moment is acting on this member and no vertical shear force is acting on this member so there will be no shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for this member for drawing the shear force and bending moment diagram it is must that moment either moment act or the perpendicular shear force must act on the member here those both are not act, act, acting so no shear force and bend, bending moment will be for this region these are the shear force and bending moment diagrams for the respective members and what i will do i will simply join them simply join their base lines bc C, join the c with c and b with b and simply similarly join the for the bending moments this is my the frame and this is my shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for the for this thanks for watching my video if you find my video useful then don't forget to like and subscribe my channel in my channel you will find many civil engineering related videos 
about structure analysis, about design of structure, and about software tools such as AutoCAD, AutoCAD Architecture, ETAB, Primavera, you will find many other related videos.